Hello. We just performed a conversion in the Rady Mikvah, and so we thought we would take this opportunity to show you the inside of the Mikvah, perhaps a place that you haven't thought much about or maybe have never visited before. So let us begin by uh, walking in the front door here into the waiting area. You can see it's uh, not an extensive waiting area, but it's something that serves for those who wish to wait. And beyond the waiting area, we get into uh, something a little bit more interesting, which is the hallway that leads to the neighbor. Now, this hallway has two bathrooms attached to it. The bathrooms are actually an important part of this setup because it's, it's here there's a shower. Uh, in one case, there's a bath in the other. This is uh, part of the preparation process for entering the mikvah. When one enters the mikvah, one is supposed to be as clean and pure on the outside as possible, which is to say nothing interposing between the waters of the mikvah and your skin or your hair. So it means that deodorant comes off, hairspray comes off, hair pins come out, uh, all jewelry comes off, uh, certainly all clothing would have to come off. And so you are as, as pure as you can possibly be in as natural a state as possible before entering into the waters of the mikvah. So that is the preparation phase. Then one actually comes into the mikvah itself. It's uh, a nice clean tiled space. Not unlike a jacuzzi in some ways, except there are no jets. But the important difference between a mikvah and a jacuzzi is the quality of the water. Water which we call in Hebrew mayim kayim, or living water. What do we mean by that? The fact is that any ocean or river or lake is automatically a mikvah. It's, it's water in its natural state. The problem is that if you want to use it for religious purposes, the weather can be an obstacle and privacy can be an issue. So for thousands of years now, the Jewish people have been building indoor mikvahs, which are much more convenient and, and easy to use. And this is an example, of course, of an indoor mikvah on a pretty sophisticated level since the water is heated, it's chlorinated, it's filtered, uh, but still, mayim chayim, and how so? Well, you might be able to see down here, there's a, a little square of glass uh, that separates the upper chamber of the mikvah from the lower chamber, what's called the bore in Hebrew, or well, which collects water from the outside. There's actually something on the roof that catches rain and snow water, channels it down into that bore, and then that water is combined with water from the city. And you can see also there's a little pipe there that connects the two chambers. And it's that pipe that allows the natural water and the city water to mix, thus, in, in effect, transforming the city water into Mayim Chaim and making them the mikvah, a kosher mikvah. So in using the mikvah, one simply uh, walks down these steps. The water begins uh, on step four. Uh, it's quite nice and, and warm, and uh, being in the mikvah altogether is a beautiful experience, something that I think everyone should experience at least once. And the idea when you use the mikvah is to immerse yourself, which is to say, you want to be surrounded completely by water on all sides of your body, which is to say, your hands aren't touching the sides, your feet aren't touching the bottom, and your head is completely immersed beneath the water, at least for a moment. And all I can say is, it is a beautiful experience. It's very, very uplifting. Not like diving into a pool, but there's a little something extra there that is uh, very, very special. And so I can recommend the experience. I've been to a mikvah many times in my life. Although in Judaism, for a man, there is no commandment to immerse in a mikvah. There is a commandment for women to use the mikvah as part of their monthly cycle. And again, I can recommend this practice because uh, my wife and I have uh, used the mitzvah of the mikvah very, very profitably in our marriage. It's a way of keeping things fresh and romantic for many, many years on end. And so I can recommend this process as well. So this is the mikvah tour. And I'm glad that I was able to show you what this looks like from the inside out. Wishing you all a Shabbat Shalom.